Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This is a money reading for all Geminis and it's for June 2023. I hope you'll enjoy this reading my dear Gemini. Welcome everybody and uh, my dear viewers, all of you. And this is a money reading in regard to your finances, your money, your work, your career and everything in between. Okay, let us begin to see what are the most important factors for you all to know my dear Gemini for June. The first one is sanctuary. That means you will find a place where you will finally find yourself, where you will feel happy, where you will feel appreciated, where you will feel nurtured. Some of you um, could actually find the career that gives you that happiness. Some of you will be um, finding the, the atmosphere where you're working, becoming better transcending to a better, more appreciated, more happy, more comfortable. Um, and some of you, it could be in regard to your home. Uh, um, even though this is a money reading, home, love, all that can play a big role in our overall well-being and happiness when it comes to work, or career, and money. Sanctuary is actually buying your own home or being in your own place, a place that you are um, nurtured, happy, appreciated. I'll just drink some water. And um, feeling a sense of protected protection a sense of happiness so we've got the sanctuary first let's see what else we need one more card from these decks the truth for gemini and we've got successful career you are going to have a very successful career when it comes with these um, cards it just shows the strength of it and the magnitude i'm going to put my glasses on to see what else does it say this card it says here happy working environment how amazing with sanctuary we we're just talking about a very comfortable very wholesome and happy environment you are going to finally be at a place where you are truly going to enjoy and there are pay rises and promotions pay rises and promotions have a look at that so successful career pay rises promotion and i do see also the direction of your uh work something is changing in regard to the direction we've got number eight here connected to number eight is connected to transcending where you are today connected to the chinese year of the goat and we've got the letter a for amanda or apple or um alpha and we've got m for money so a rise in your money how amazing is that a rise in your money and we've got here pay rise you see and promotions so you are going to be a, a very successful career without a doubt my dear gemini that is incredible okay let's move on to the next level <clears throat> and the next level is finding out more um, about what else you need to know Wow, and look at that. This is usually a Gemini card because it's an air energy like you, Gemini. Some truth um, is going to be either you will be directed to it or somebody could be, you could be actually uh, taking a stand and saying this is the way it is and this is the truth and maybe somebody is questioning that. So we'll clarify it and find out what that is for all Gemini for June. Let's have a look. And the second one is the greatest gift of all. And this could be also about sanctuary and successful career all coming together uh, with this new beginning. This new beginning shows to me that you are going to be given a great rise in your career and your money. Emotionally, you are going to be so happy and so uh, satisfied with these three combinations. And I feel the greatest gift is coming that is going to give you abundance and abundance of success and happiness together, mingled together with the Ace of Cups. So prepare for that. That is incredible. And the third one shows that there is someone of water energy that is going to be quite supportive. Perhaps emotionally, they are going to be uplifting you. Water energy are Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And we have someone of earth energy that is going to be very helpful towards you. Earth energy being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone that's going to be uplifting, helping, supportive, but more supportive actually than the water energy. This person is going to be um, by your side all the way. We'll clarify all these people and see what's next. Finally, you are leaving a situation where you're not happy. 
because of the truth, some truth is coming to light where you know there's too much trouble, you know it's going to escalate, you're just leaving for the better, for the light, for a better future. Whenever there is a Six of Swords, you're moving towards an incredible uh, place. What you don't see coming, there is going to be a small sacrifice where you need to put your interest aside and do for the sake of someone else. Then you are going to have incredible rewards coming your way with a new beginning that's going to give you abundance. But rewards beyond your imagination, um, fame, fortune, uh, recognition, applause for a job well done, um, what they talked about before, uh, promotion, pay rise. Um, this is after the sacrifice. Remember that. Remember they said here that there'll be pay rises and promotion and happy working environment because you're transcending where you are perhaps and you are going to be gifted the greatest gift of rewards. So this is incredible. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, wealth and riches, a lot of money could be coming in. And the sanctuary there, I feel like there is something spectacular taking place for you, my dear Gemini. Prepare for it. This is incredible. The rewards are magnificent and the success is going to be spectacular. The wealth card is coming. It's not something you see now, but the Ace of Cups is. The Ace of Cups is greatest uh, gift of all that's going to give you a lot of success, a lot of happiness coming your way. So uh, a big rise, something surprising is happening for you, something spectacular. You're not even expecting this so it's going to be a surprise but certainly it is making a big difference in your life and you are destined for wealth and money so remember in regard to money your lucky numbers are in the community section of this channel this is a money reading so i can talk about it um, and you've got the lucky numbers always use the december 2021 and the january 2022 they're the main ones take those two lots of numbers play them play a small amount of money even if it's four or five dollars but you do it continuously you don't stop Four or five dollars a month won't make a big deal. Maybe you could do less if it's going to make a big deal in your income if you're in a different country where money is scarce. Remember, uh, whenever we see the Ten of Pentacles or the Wheel of Fortune or the Four of Pentacles, I always talk about money coming in and open the doorways, open your luck by playing something small and um, playing continuously. It's about consistency. So very small, those numbers, it could put another set you can play of your own numbers, your favorite numbers, your, your family, yourself and your family's uh, birth dates, put them all separate, separate games and play very small amounts continuously until you win. And when you do win, always remember to share in the channel. Let me know by telling a story of what has happened. And um, that's all I really expect and, and appreciate if you would do that. All right. Now, my dear um, Gemini, what I'm going to do now is uh, find out what else you need to know and then we will clarify. I'll clarify the cards. Let's see for June what are two major impacts that you need to know. We'll take one by one. So the first one we have... The candle, this is all about ambition. You are going to be feeling ambition, of course, with um, um, who is a Pluto going into Capricorn, moving to Capricorn. You are going to be thinking about taking action, about ambition, wanting to manifest money, wanting to save money, um, you know, doing, uh, trying to look for that extra piece of hours where you can work or looking at, you know, um, managing your your money well or managing your work well or trying to get extra work uh, the candle shows that there's illumination there is and the illumination of course comes from pluto going into um into capricorn because capricorn is all about structure and working hard and saving and you know managing our money well and you know, so that's where I see the candle playing a role for you. Now, with, in regard to Korea, there are careers of management. Some of you will be considering that or some of you are rising, rising to be managers, pay rises and promotions. So uh, pay rise and promotion and the candle, it shows that big reward and a lot of sanctuary is going to be there for you, which is spectacular. Sanctuary means working at a place where you're happy, you're appreciated, and you are rewarded for your efforts. That's what it means. And you're comfortable, very happy in heaven where you're working. And usually it's very hard for, pe for people to be happy where they're working. But that's this, this is what it shows to me, that you are going to be promoted. You are going to be um, applauded for a job well done and paid for it well. That's why there's a pay rise and promotion and perhaps managerial kind of um, position. So this is incredible. And I feel like 
really with the candle um, there are there's a high rank it's all about high ranking um, everything being visible you being visible your workload being you know really seen and appreciated and applauded and that's what the six of wands is also about so that is really wonderful and um, I feel like this is going to be the greatest reward ever with the ace of cups um, and the promotion of course and the rise and the success in career i feel like this is skyrocketing you to a very high level where you'll be appreciated you'll be um recognized for all your efforts and paid well for it that's the most important one for some of you it could be where you're at now the sanctuary takes place right where you become happy and comfortable but for others it could be a new career and you move right after you leave a place where you were not appreciated so that's what i'm seeing here very interesting intriguing in fact let's see okay so i'll put this one here and now we go back to see what else um, the universe wants you to know let's have a look this goes right here this goes there now we'll take one more card in regard to work career and money oh wait a second just three of them turned over so we need just one and there's the seal so the seal is the next one and let's have a look at the seal i need my glasses the seal is a beautiful energy it is all about gift of money do you see that gift of money and it says here business contracts so some of you are sealing the deal with some business contracts documents need to be signed some of you could be starting fresh somewhere um, but there is the gift of money without a doubt just like we have the ten of pentacles we have the greatest gift of all and then we've got the seal so i feel like some gift of money is coming without a doubt without any doubts whatsoever I feel like the the candle could um, contribute towards it because it is about a higher ranking in your life and manifesting money. It is also about manifest. I forgot about that manifesting money. So you know, for those of you who've been wishing uh, to have big amounts of money, money is coming big time. You're manifesting money, and the seal shows that a gift of money there. Some of you could be working clerical work, dealing with papers and documents, and but staying put. Some of you are staying put where you are and just being recognized and applauded for what you're doing. But I feel like there is the gift of money without a doubt, and um, everything shows that you're heading towards that. So that's that one. Now we move forward to. We move forward to the next level. See what else you need to know. Truth. We'll take one or two cards. The rhino says overcoming an obstacle. Some of you will be overcoming it. Some of you are changing situations. Situations are changing for you to be able to move forward. Oh, wow. They really want me to take this card. Wow, how amazing. The truth transcends illusion. And that's what this is all about. This is what this is all about. You see this? The truth is transcending delusion, del not delusion, but illusion. Like what you might have thought it's this, you're realizing that it isn't. And the truth is helping you understand that you can do better and you can go further. There's success coming your way without a doubt. And I feel like you are moving forward. Number 22, for those of you who want numbers, and number six is here very strong. We've got, of course, number one and we've got number 10 and six is here doubled up so you know and we've also got number 12 uh, and number what's this one here number 26 just in case you want numbers for today some of you ask for numbers uh, sometimes i remember to do that sometimes i don't so today you were lucky i remembered now let's have a look at what else we need to know the truth all gemini for june and we've got um i'll just put my glasses on because Oh, without the glasses they're so small okay we've got Honsu which is the hermitage some of you are taking time out and thinking just spending time this is like you know going into um, a lot of deep thinking and and silencing and thinking going into silence and thinking about what you need what you want where you want to be you see the boat here um, it shows to me like what it is that you need and you want to take you want to take action you are thinking about taking action. You're thinking and searching for the truth. And the truth is going to come and illuminate for you because we've got the candle. It's going to show you the way to go. And for some of you, you will be literally leaving, leaving a situation where it's no longer working for you. And you know that trouble can come out of it. So that's why you're thinking and thinking and rethinking. Now, let's see another Egyptian god. And it just clicked out. And it's Thoth. Wow. Tahuti. 
This is about feeling whole and completing. A chapter of your life is coming to com to absolute completion. And that's why we've got the sacrifice. You have made sacrifices. This is number 12 and this is number 12, but this isn't the same card. It just shows you've made a lot of sacrifices and now it's time for you to be rewarded for those sacrifices. That's what this is all about. And to be rewarded, you are going to be completing a saga and you will feel wholeness, happiness, living, uh, uh, going to a place where you are going to be really cherished and, uh, and uplifted and somebody is supporting you without a doubt and I feel like this person that's giving you the support could be someone of water energy Scorpio Cancer Pisces or it could be someone that is very very supportive Earth Energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn so very interesting let's see what will happen and I can't wait to hear your your outcome what you tell me like what's um what you will comment in regard to all this. Now, let's move forward and see what else you need to know. We'll see what your guiding angel's message is for you for June. What is it that, that wants you to do in regard to work and career? It says forgiveness. Forgiveness might be needed. Maybe when you're leaving, you will forgive um, those who didn't appreciate you or those who mistrusted you or... Um, intimidated you or upset you in any way i feel like once you leave you are or once you are granted this great gift and shown the way uh, offered something spectacular maybe it's then that you are going through forgiveness and leaving but there is forgiveness maybe they're saying forgive because things are going to get spectacular for you and um, there's no need to hold grudges um, you only hold grudge. Sometimes the worst of the worst happens to get you to move to the next level. So remember that. Now, before clarifying, oh no, I'll start clarifying now to see what else, um, um, what is every card and what, the, what does it mean. Let's have a look at the page of swords and see what that is for all Gemini for June. And it shows, yes, there is someone uh, quite controlling. There is something being a little bit too much uh, maybe you've been questioned too much or um, usurped uh, or um, intimidated by someone but something is happening certainly too much and you're just sick of it you just you know you can't handle it perhaps the truth is not working and you're very honest and direct into the truth uh, my dear Gemini you say it the way it is and that could be uh, not taken well by your management or your um, team leader they might be um unrealistic and you're realistic and that's not working perhaps that that could be part of it but there is something or someone quite controlling over here something being done too much you are empowered big time with the magician's power and the energy you are going to be given the power to move forward you are moving forward and the um you are getting exactly what you need it's going to fall into place um, for you because you have the power of the magician to give you everything you've wanted so if you have a dream career or dream wish that you wanted this is the time where you can have it all this is the time where you are going to be given the actual glory that you deserve and I feel like a gift of money could be and a gift of a job also don't forget you have got the ace of cups the greatest gift of all with success in your career recognition and the gift of money so so much is going on not to mention the sanctuary not to mention that uh, manifesting the money that you've been wanting you know getting the exact what is um and having the sanctuary where you are working at a place where you're really happy and everything is doing well so i feel like the truth is going to transcend you to better levels there are hurtful words maybe you are feeling unhappy where you are painful truth is going to release you without a doubt that's what you don't see coming let's have a look at the, the ace of cups for all gemini for june and see what this gift is wow the gift of money oh my god look at that the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles remember i said the gift of money Look at that, the seal, the gift of money. I'll bring it closer for you to read, the gift of money. Have a look at that. Isn't that spectacular? And what's more spectacular is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Wealth and Riches and Life-Changing Money, Big Money. Um, this has come up twice. And this is going to be the reason that you are going to have an incredible life. The Nine of Pentacles is a life of leisure, luxury, and money. And you'll be playing with money. There's a lot of money coming. 
the gift of money and everything to do with money is here. It's shown very strong in your reading and it's showing from different angles. They're letting you know that this is, this is all in regard to the greatest gift of all, where you are going to be exceptionally happy with everything that is destined for you. Have a look at that. This is that amazing. Isn't that incredible? So that's what this gift is. It's going to give you the gift of money and we've got the gift of money and we've got the two tens of pentacles and the life of luxury, of wealth. The cards of wealth twice and the life of wealth. So that is like, wow, that is amazing. What can I say? So what you don't see coming, which was this card here, um, is coming very soon and that's going to be part of the gift from the universe for you. Something from the past or childhood or family is coming. Remember that also. You can take time out, rest and recuperate and heal and you don't have to work so hard and things are going to be spectacular. It could be someone like family that might be wealthy or they might win the lotto or the lottery and they might give you something really big. They could contribute towards your wealth and your well-being. That is also a possibility. Or you could yourself win the lotto or the lottery. So do play because wealth and money is there for you. Open the doorways. That's what I say. Open the doorways to the universe and your guiding angels to bring in this, uh, this uh, blessing. I don't believe in gambling, like, like you know, putting big money into investments and trying to get this money. I just don't believe in stuff like that, especially nowadays with everything in the world and how how much instability there is. I, I just don't, uh, I just feel like it is going to be a gift from the universe in, in a way. It, it looks something uh, sort of um, distant. Okay, now let's move forward to the Queen of Cups and see what the Queen of Cups is all about. Paul, Gemini, it shows that there is abundance and your guiding angels are going to give you the gift of abundance, fruitfulness, nurturing, loving, compassion, power. The truth is going to support you and uplift you. Your guiding angels are watching over you and they are going to help you emotionally. If you're not happy with a situation of someone with water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the truth is going to uplift you and the um, abundance and the nurturing power of the Empress is going to be very supportive to help you big time. What you don't see coming from in regard to this, the sun will be shining. There's going to be a lot of happiness. And I feel like this happiness is going to be in every area of your life. Plus, there is um, financial wealth. Someone financially stable could be Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be. But they could also be representing someone financially very stable. That is going to uplift you, help you, and open a lot of doorways. The sun will be shining in many areas of your life. So that is magnificent. And that sun is contributed by the um the empress which is all about abundance all about a nurturing power that will adore you and, and compensate you and give you a lot of abundance so i feel like this is all uh, going to contribute towards you having this incredible life and um if you've always been thinking about it praying for it manifesting it you are manifesting wealth and wealth is here and double cards, which I showed already before. And you understand now where you're at. Okay, let's move forward to the um, page of the page of pentacles. Now we've got this card that came up, which isn't a very good card, the energy of conflict. And this one fell also. Uh, okay, so there is a situation where someone of air energy uh, could be uh, could be yourself, Gemini. Could be a Libra or or um, Aquarius. Somebody could be there directing you. Someone that's very logical and direct and knows the truth and knows how to move forward. I feel like this could also be you, and you finally finding what the best thing is to do. Uh, being directed also by someone and being supported by an Earth energy. But where there is conflict and uh, disagreements, it could be that these disagreements could be coming from someone of air energy. There could be um, a Gemini like yourself. There could be Aquarius. There could be a Libra that you're not happy with. They're in conflict with you. They they could be air energy like you, and 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 dis there's disagreement. And maybe that is the reason you're leaving because it's the disagreements and the truth that's releasing you. And of course, the um, the Queen of Swords is about uh, the truth. So there could be someone uh, and you, you and someone are not agreeing. You're not doing well, and that is why. Um, I feel like someone is going to support you to move forward. Okay, let's move towards the Six of Swords and see what the Six of Swords is. You are thinking and thinking, and, and, and that's what this was all about, the Hermitage. Uh, the Hermitage is like the Hermit, where you are thinking and, and, and really thinking what to do. There is someone of Earth energy that's going to be supportive. 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're thinking a lot about this person. Maybe this person is offering you something, a job or something wonderful, and you're thinking about it. You're, you're sort of looking for the truth. You're trying to see what, what is the best course of action. But ultimately, I'm seeing that you're leaving. You have, you're leaving with regret. You're leaving. Um, I feel that very strong. So all the thinking you're doing, ultimately, you're reaching to the truth and you're realizing that you have to go. You have to leave a situation. Um, Yes, what you don't see coming is ultimately you are leaving and um, you're leaving in search of more happiness. And what you don't see coming, there is someone that's going to be very, someone wonderful. Your higher self is trying to tell you intuition. Someone wonderful is coming. Someone of fire energy, new that's going to ignite maybe a new job. Someone that's going to help you move forward. There is something new and spectacular that's going to be very uplifting coming for you right after you leave. That's what's happening. Once you leave, you are going towards somewhere more happier, much more um, satisfaction for you. There'll be a lot of happiness there for you. So that's um, the reality of what is happening right now. Now, my dear Gemini, what I'm going to do is find out if there's anything that the universe wants to tell you. We're taking two cards for June, Gemini, and some numbers and clarifications of timing, when in June and... So the first one, we've got your health needs you at a time where you are in the midst of freeing yourself from something to transcend to a better. You are going to be transcended to higher levels, but your health, you need to watch your health. You need to take time out to heal. I feel like your health is going to be transcending big time. And it is at that time that you're taking care of your health. It is at that time where you are going to be elevated. Um, freedom, I see freedom and I see elevation to higher levels. So we've got number 71 here, number seven and one and that also gives you number eight which is transcending from where you are to higher levels and it also could be that july is going to play a big role in your life july seven one is eight so july something big is happening in july in regard to your health and transcending to a better position next the truth for another message it says communications communication is going to help you big time is going to help you heal those of you have been seeing 33 3 3 3 33 is about healing 33 is about expansion so there could be a new job on the horizon working in team somebody helping you to get to another place somebody's going to be cause could be this person the cause of you moving to the next level the communications are needed for healing also if there is a situation where a sacrifice putting your interest aside and doing for the sake of someone to release something maybe release someone from anguish talking about communicating saying it the way it is that could also relieve a situation that's been hanging it's going to bring healing and it's going to bring you expansion three we're talking three weeks in june so it could be the third week of june something might happen but june itself is going to be quite healing for you and for those of you who are born in the chinese year of the tiger chinese year of the snake chinese year of the goat pay attention big time i'll just take one more and see what else domestic harmony and that this is what this is all about domestic harmony and we've got four and six success and healing again and end of a chapter a chapter that wasn't giving you happiness so domestic harmony means you will be happy where you are your environment at home you're finally going to be happy there's going to be healing there's going to be success coming your way and finally you are going to have uh, again there's that 26 and 46 um, transcending to better levels and that is the end of your reading my dear dear gemini i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think give me a thumbs up and and um and um and wow what is it i went blank and don't forget if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this reading subscribe to it because i do upload different kinds of readings and make sure always you watch every your know, every two weeks reading so that every two weeks and a month you get to know precisely in those two weeks what's happening and what you need to do i wish you abundance of blessings and love a light before i go i do wish a great happy birthday to every Gemini celebrating um, in June all your birthdays. I wish you the greatest happiness, the greatest blessings and best wishes to each and every one of you. Happy birthday, all Gemini. Take care. Blessings and namaste.